Hey guys, it is February 28th and I am starting day four. So I didn't take any video coming down Blood Mountain yesterday because it was rainy and I was freezing and I was exhausted and I just walked like 15 miles. Um, I started from Gooch Gap at 5.30 in the morning and I got to Neil Gap at 4.30 p.m. and I was like rushing to get here because I didn't think they would have any place to stay. So. This is a reenactment. There's no gap. I made it to no gap. So here's just um just the video. There's uh as you can see, and it's getting ready to rain. So today we're doing a Nero or a zero because my feet are killing me. And I've got blisters. I had to get new shoes. Uh, man, they were awesome. Um, gave me some advice and so on and so forth. And shipped some things out. I did a backpack shakedown. Got rid of some stuff. So as you can see, there's the famous tree with the shoes. And that is basically through hikers who stop here. I think 10% of through hikers stop here. So I, this is mountain crossing, which is on the AT and tomorrow we'll walk through there. It's the only covered portion of the AT. So, I got a little tramley going on, so I'll introduce you guys to them shortly. Um, I was so tired and I've primarily been walking by myself, so when I came down here at 4.30, I didn't know what I was going to do and where I was going to stay. Fortunately, um, Uncle Heather was like, just like, told me I could stay with them and we have a cabin down at Blood Mountain Cabins, and so I was like, oh, thank you Jesus. So it's all good. So this is the way to the Blood Mountain Cabins. We have a cabin. It, I'm the token girl, which apparently it's a good idea to have a girl in your group. We have a lot of value because there's not a lot of us. And when you are through hiking and hitching, you're more likely to get picked up if there's a girl. So. I'm the token girl. However, oh, also, I I did get my um, I've got my trail name, and my trail name is Dirty Bunny. <laughs> I found Dirty Bunny. Those of you that know me know that I have this Pez dispenser that. A barista at Honey Brothers said, Ooh, that's a dirty bunny. And it's a Pez dispenser keychain. And I've kept it for many, many years. And Dirty Bunny's been on a lot of trips with me. So I found Dirty Bunny because, you know, I move a lot and decided to put Dirty Bunny on my backpack. So after my shakedown, I was on the way back. And one of the guys, Rooster, was like, what's that and I said oh that's dirty bunny and kind of told him the story and he said oh that's your trail name dirty bunny and I just started cracking up be I was like yeah I will accept that dirty bunny is my trail name so and I like it so tomorrow we're gonna get up I'll probably get up like super early and I am going we got a six mile hike to a shelter. Tomorrow, thunderstorms are in the forecast as today. It's getting ready to thunderstorm. It's gonna be pretty wicked actually, apparently. Um, so I'm gonna get an early start and we're gonna get to the shelter. Chances are I'll stay in the shelter. Uh, I don't know if I wanna be in my tent during a thunderstorm all right so day four 
already taken a zero, but let me tell you, the way my feet were, I need to take a day. I've got blisters on both of my heels. I've got blisters on my toes in several different places. So um, hopefully these new shoes will do the trick. Other than that, I feel great. I have my IT band has holed up. I have no IT band issues. And trust me, that climb down Blood Mountain was a freaking killer. Um, I got lost several times. It's kind of hard to see the blazes. Well, I didn't get lost several times. I got lost. It was just kind of weird. It was really actually nice hike up and down. It's just really easy. It's hard to see the blazes sometimes. So, and plus I was stressing about getting here on time so I would uh, get a, a place to stay and that worked out very well. I'm so happy with the cabin. I'm really grateful for the guys letting me stay with them. Um, and it's only 70, it's $18 a piece, which isn't too bad. And with that, they do your laundry for free. Um, you just take your laundry up there and they do your laundry and it's ready in two hours. So very, very happy with um, Blood Mountain Cabin. So, all right, I'll show you more when I get up there back. So here, oh, yeah. Here's the cabin, we're in Fox Cabin. And it started raining, so I'm not gonna back up, but it's like those over there, they're very nice. Um, let's see, they're all named after, there's like wild boar, raccoon, rabbit, and we're in Fox. So apparently, this is the one that Will Wood stayed in. At least that's what somebody told me. So, anyway, you walk in, and this is, I get my own room because I'm a girl. It's a pleasure. One of the good things about hiking with guys, they're all very gentlemanly and they don't have to be that way. Um, there's a room up there where Hayes is staying. Um, got stuffed foxes, which apparently have names. There's the futon where Uncle uh, Heather's staying and Let's see, uh, uh, Roadrunner staying on the bottom, or staying on the floor. So, we had a fire going, so I'm gonna see if I can get that going again. So, there's a, we don't have a coffee. I have to, you, they sell coffee up at that place up there for a dollar out of a Keurig. Pizza, I ate almost the whole pizza last night. Um, then we've got a little patio with a grill. Of course, none of us are grilling anything. Let me tell you, this place is very nice. I am so happy right now. We've got a nice bathroom with everything you need. I still haven't taken a shower yet. Just a shower, which apparently the water's really hot. A little bit more. The light's not very good. There's my backpack and it's just, yeah. So Blood Mountain Cabins, I highly recommend Blood Mountain Cabins. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So we are at Blood Mountain Cabin with my little tramway here. Hi. There's Speed Racer over there getting the fire going and then we have Hayes, Hi, Hayes. Hi. <laughs> eating a pop tart and the infamous uncle Heather who, <laughs> who's my saving grace thank you so much
All right. This together, yes. Anybody want to say anything? No. This fire's a real pain in the ass today. Yeah. <laughs> it looks something. really good right now. And I was so. thinking it up yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow yeah, we're going to head out. Go warm yourself up. Huh? Go warm yourself up. Dry off a little bit. Over yeah. There. I got, it's still raining outside. So. As soon as you left. <laughs> all right. So that's all we got. Later, Gators.